Okay, so we posted a previous video on a, a, a chicken making a strange sound, and we got quite a few comments, some not very helpful at all, and some quite helpful. We, we uh, contacted local chicken experts here, and we come up with consistency is it was a uh, respiratory disease. What we did to uh, treat this for our hen was use the Vet RX. It's a natural remedy that we've used in the past before for our chickens, and it works great. It's almost like Vicks for chickens. It smells, it's got that strong uh, Vicks type smell. It works very well. Um, we gave that to her that same night um, when she went to bed in the coop. Administered that to her via the, the um, instructions on the uh, packaging. And the next morning she was much better already. And she was not wheezing, coughing, or sneezing at all. So I highly recommend this Vet RX stuff. A lot of people commented that um, we should give them antibiotics. Antibiotics, antibiotics, antibiotics. This, this is, you know, for me, that, that is not why we are raising backyard chickens. We're raising backyard chickens that have the, the highest quality chicken eggs we can. And if I want to get a, uh, a chicken or a chicken egg, that's been laced with some kind of additive or whatnot. You could go to the grocery store and get these from the commercial production, which uh, do uh, supply antibiotics and among many other items to their chicken flocks, which will be passed on to their chicken eggs. There's a lot of data and research uh, done if antibiotics are passed on to the eggs or not. But once you do administer a uh, antibiotic to your chicken you cannot label it as an, an or, organic chicken egg so keep that in mind also so I would not uh, run and jump to the first uh, antibiotic remedy to heal your chickens for the first uh, option or first line of defense so we use this at vet rx also uh, this vet rx you can add to a vaporizer a hot water vaporizer not a humidifier humidifier uses a cold water but you need a vaporizer that uses hot water because the vedex requires uh, it to be mixed with hot water and you can add this vaporizer to their um, chicken coop at night it recommends adding it for, for about an hour and that will also keep them much healthier through the winter times as this is what most likely caused the respiratory problem for us um, also, uh, this antibiotics are actually not approved for laying hens that we were recommended. Even at the uh, local uh, feed store they recommended. And we did go ahead and buy some antibiotics just in case we needed to administer it for that emergency uh, time. But if you look at the label closely, it says not for laying hens. And I did a lot of research and I could not find an antibiotic for laying hens. Uh, most of these are labeled for cattle or poultry, but they're only approved for meat or breeding stock, not layers. So you really have to do your uh, research. A lot of people use them in, as a off-label means, but there's little research done about uh, the hen and her eggs. Uh, there's, I'll post some uh, comment links down below. In the description, you can read about the different documentation and trade magazines, publications, etc., that uh, debate this back and forth. But you have to be able to—you're going to have to uh, throw out the eggs for at least two weeks. And we're also re recommended to treat our whole flock, which I, you know, I was resistant to do. We, of course, we watch our hens all the time and very aware of their 